Are you ready to enter the world of Henry Rath's reactions? How are we doing today, Rath Mites? My name is Henry Rath. This is Henry Rath's reactions. Today we're going to hop into a music video, and that music video is going to be up. Nikki, gracious, this I pray. Yeah, pray. This I pray. This here was requested by the one and only the beautiful Angelica. Guys, we're gonna go and hop on in to this, see what happens up, and see what it has to offer. So, without further ado, let's go on ahead and rub it off. Alright. Do it again over here. No! Not the light! Don't show the light! Alright. Let's go ahead and hop on in and see what it entails. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Red Brothers. Nikki Gracious. First off, Lord, thank you for my life. I thank you for my sin that you put out of your sight. Never thought that that could happen, Father God. I'm so ashamed. Memories of what I. Okay, I'm gonna start that over just so I won't mess up. Did you end? I like that. I like, I like that. Thank you, Jesus. A rip production. Thank you, Jesus. Rip records. Make you gracious. Okay, make you gracious. So far, so far, so far. I am loving that song. I'm loving it. I'm loving, I don't know what you call that, the melody? I'm, lo I'm loving that. It sounds really, really good. It sounds really good. It sounds peaceful. It sounds really peaceful. Let's hop in. Let's see what he has to say in this one. First off, Lord, thank you for my life. I thank you for my sin that you put out of your sight. Never thought that that could happen, Father God. I'm so ashamed. Memories of what I did always rushing through my brain. It's hard to wrap my mind around how you could just forgive. Can't comprehend the fact that you wouldn't even let me live. You know all of the secrets I keep hidden in the dark. All the evil desires that keep on working in my heart. Lord, take it from me because I hate it that I'm ugly. It's hard. Mm, 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 mm. That's one thing that is so very, very, very true. The Lord knows every deep, dark secret that everyone has. He knows everything that you've gone through. He knows everything that you're going to go through. And he's, even though it never feels like it, he's there with you in the situations when you're at your lowest. When it feels like everything's coming against you. You always have that little sliver. That little sliver of hope. That little sliver of peace. And there's always him in the midst, there for you, through the darkness. Even though the darkness will sometimes try to cloud that and make you think that God's not actually there for you. He always is. He never gives you too much to where you can't, to where you can't handle. The devil may make you think there's more than you can handle. But, he, but the Lord never gives you more than what you can handle. He's always there for you no matter what things you go through. No matter what things that, you, that have troubled you in the past. That have gotten you off in the past. God is always there for you. 109 shucks. A thousand, a million, a gazillion percent. Ah, I love this. Let's hop back in. To talk to people because I know that they will judge me. They probably say I need to be locked up inside a cell. He's sick inside his head and he ain't never going to get well. They say that I should die and that would probably be the truth. He ain't fit for society. His confession is the proof. So I keep it to myself because I'm scared of what they'll say. I reveal myself to you because I know you gon' make a way. This I pray. This I pray. If it's one thing you gon' do is make a way. That you lead me to a home where I can stay. That you hit me when I come to you with tears And share the pain with you I face throughout the years This I pray mm, 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 mm. This I pray Guys, 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 guys I love this Because it basically tells you that if you just seek God's love If you just seek His presence If you seek Him to be able to take the heart, the headache, the pain away God will surely do it. You'll feel his warm embrace overcome your body. And you know that he, that he truly, truly had you. Because you are a son and daughter of God. 
every single person, even if they do not believe it. They are a son and daughter of Christ. So guys, I, I love this video. It's wonderful. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the message. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think that he w was like a, an abusive. He was an abuser, right? A physical abuser. And God delivered him from that. He delivered him from that past. From him, you know, being that type of tormentor. And this is him basically leaving, you know, trying to, you know, find his way. If I'm not particular, I don't, I don't know if I'm reading too much to do it. But, I like this. I like this a lot. Because it sends out a good message to the people. And it'll let you know that no matter what you've done in your past, God can always come and switch on your situation and turn your life in his direction for the better. I love it. Let's hop back in. I asked you to kill me and then you did. You had to kill me so I could live. This I pray every Do you guys know what he's saying right there? I just want to make sure. If you know what he's saying, right? If you know what he's saying right there. So he's saying he asked God to kill him, and then he did. What he's saying right there is that he asked God to kill his flesh. Killing your flesh, your flesh is what basically the, the devil likes to come in and manipulate. Right? That's what he likes to come in and manipulate. That's what, you know, like, let's say the earthly things try to come in and get you off. Tell you this, you should do this, you should do that. Your flesh be like, hey, I kind of want to try that. Hey, I kind of want to do that. I kind of do want to try those drugs. I kind of I, I kinda do want to, you know, tr try that, like, sex, that, you know, all, all that type of stuff. Or even, you know, smoking weed or, like, smoking a cigarette. Anything that you know that's not good for you. Your flesh, the thing that like tells you to go out and try, that's what he's saying that God, that he asked God to kill. He asked God to kill him, kill his flesh. That's what he's talking about right there. Killing that fleshly being that will always try to come in and get you off. That's why in the Bible it says you must kill your flesh and then at that point, your actual spirit man, the Holy Spirit, will come in and it'll overtake you. And if you're walking in the Spirit, then you're walking in the Lord, and then you're walking the path that He has for your life. One thing that a lot of people have to make sure, and have to pray and ask God for, is to let their spirit man take control of their steps. Because if your spirit man takes control of your steps, then ain't nothing you can't do. The Lord will always be with you. He'll always help you help you when, you're, when you need it. And He'll always push you towards your goals and where you're supposed to be in life. Why do you think I ended up creating this YouTube channel? God allowed me to be able to kill my flesh, to kill my past worries, to kill my past fears, to kill my past struggles, to I be able to do this amazing, you know, production you, you see here today. He allowed for all those things to happen. Through His grace and favor, all of this was made possible. So, I am a true believer that if God said it, if you ask Him for help, if you ask Him for guidance, and he will surely make a way out of no way. So, let's go and hop back into this and let's see what else he is going to be talking about. When you show to me, I will remember. And that you love me even though I'm still a sinner. These voices in my head, you hear them too. They persecuting me and they persecuting you. Was diagnosed a paranoid schizophrenic. Tried taking the medicine, now I'm doing it organic. Ain't completely recovered, but got him trusting in your plan. You showed me your light and I put my life inside your hands. Mm, mm, okay, okay. I just find a stop point. So, did y'all hear what he said? Did y'all just hear what he said? So he was diagnosed as a borderline schizophrenic. He was diagnosed as a borderline schizophrenic. If you can't read between those lines there, let me help you, let me have to explain it to you. When you're going in certain situations, different struggles in the world, they will always try to diagnose you, right? They will always try and diagnose you with this, diagnose you with that, diagnose you with some type of illness or disease. But what, but, but what basically that is, is it's a spirit that's attached to you that's trying to get you off from reaching your full goal. And with that label, is labeling your life. Never, 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 never let the world label you. The only one that can label you is your God, your Father, your protector. With the label that He gives you, which is of an overcomer, an achiever, 
Can't nothing get you down. Can't nothing at all get you down. There's a lot more words that I can't think of right now. But can't nothing get you down. Because if God said it, if he breathed life into your body, he breathed the plan into your bo in, in, into your life, this world will always try to come in and corrupt that. Always. Always try to put a different title on, on you. Always try to put a different title on you. It's just like that it's just like that Bible scripture to where the mom named the son something that meant child of sorrow. And then the father came in and was like, no, no, you can't name my son that. I'm gonna name him this. And it was a name of basically greatness. Don't let the world come in and mislabel you. Because if you let them mislabel you and you believe what they're labeling you as, it'll destroy any and all types of blessings that you would have coming your way. Only because it came in and it affected your mindset. You see, the Lord likes to attack you in your mind. That's his playground. True facts and a true statement. If you can change your mindset, you can change your world. So, why do you think that's one thing that he likes to target? Because he knows that if he can get you in here, where you think, where you process every single thing that comes into your body, he can get you off. He can get you down. He can mentally destroy you. He can physically destroy you. It all determines on the mindset that you have. So, guys, that's what he was talking about there. I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to hop back in and let's see what else he has to say. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. People think I'm crazy when I tell them what I've seen Not the visions of the trances Ain't talking about the dreams I'm talking about the watchers Lord, I seen them with my eyes The way you showed me They was connected to my mind Enlighten me, Father I know you showed me for a reason I picked up on a pattern Seen the signs of the season And now I'm scared to death For all the souls of my people Let them think that I'm crazy The way you rescued them from evil You handed me the keys and said Drive while you can I hope I don't crash Give me the strength to be a man this I pray, this I pray If it's one thing you gon' do is make a way That you lead me to a home where I can stay That you hear me when I come to you in tears And share the pain with you I face throughout the years This I pray, I ask you to kill me and then you did You had to kill me so I could live This I pray, everything you show to me I will remember And that you love me even though I'm still a sinner I pray you reunite me with my son And my daughters don't hate me for everything that That's powerful right there. That's powerful. A lot of people who've made mistakes in the past, a lot of people who've been corrupted in the past, with their past issues, with their past struggles, it's crazy how the devil comes in and he can literally, by infecting one person, by changing their mindset, he can literally destroy a household. He can literally destroy a household. And, you know... With everybody in your family, you literally all have to make sure that you are truly, truly, truly in the right mindset that God has you to be in. Because if you're not, then the devil can come in easily and try to get you off. He can come in easily and try to get you off. It's no struggle for him to come in and try and get you off. At all. At all. He, ha he has pleasure in doing so. He literally has pleasure in doing so. So you have to make sure that you literally have your feet planted like a tree by the riverside. You can't let nothing get you off. Not even the regular. You're going to stand like a palm tree. A palm tree is a tree that goes through a whole, that can go through a whole lot of hurricanes, get bent to the point of breaking, but as soon as the storm is over, it comes right back up and it's bigger and stronger than it was before. You gotta be that palm tree. You gotta be that palm tree. Don't let none come in and get you off. And if it bends you, bends you, bends you to the point of breaking, you gotta mend yourself back together. Because if, if a palm tree breaks, it breaks, guess what? It can go back. It can go back and it'll go back bigger and stronger than it was before.
So you got to keep your spirit man strong. You got to stay safe, stay sound, and stay blessed. And let nothing come and get you off. Because the devil wants you. He wants you so bad because there's so much blessing that's been attached to your life. There's so much passion that you can give to change the world. That he does not want to see it fulfilled. At all. He does not want to see it fulfilled. So you got to make sure that you stay in your right mindset. You can't let nothing come and get you off. You can't let nothing come and try to manipulate you into doing certain things. Because you know you're stronger. And even though that voice tells you not to do it, at times you may slip up. You may do it. But you got to keep right back up. And you got to rise and be the man of God that you were born and blessed to be. So guys, I'm loving this. I'm loving this a lot. Let me hop back in. This is a five minute video and I'm like two minutes and three seconds in. So let me go ahead and start it and I'm just keep, I'm gonna stop talking <laughs> so much. I'm sorry. I'm letting the Holy Spirit use me. Protected from evil, Jesus, I'm begging you for this. Let me tell him I'm sorry for everything that I missed. Show him you can do miracles, how you heal the broken vessel. Let him call out to you and help him fight against the devil. I pray for my mama, she finally gave her heart to you. Now I pray that my daddy gon' do the same thing too. My sister's still struggling, God, I hope you intervene. Protect my grams and show them all you still the king. I pray for all my friends who struggle with drug addiction. Help Latami and Kelly, Father, you know I really miss them. Bless Jimmy Graham for all the prayers on my behalf. Help Papa with driving, God, I can't wait to see him laugh. And finally, Lord, I pray you help my stinking baby. I thank you for making me a special kind of crazy. This I pray, this I pray. If it's I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, but I gotta stop it. I gotta stop it. I gotta stop it. I gotta stop it. Whew. With certain families that you're in, if you've had a struggle past, and if you've done wrong by a whole lot of people, and God comes in and switches your mindset, a lot of people will view you as your past self. A lot of people will view you as... How did they get to where, you know, they needed to be? Why are they like this now? Oh, he's acting self-righteous. Oh, she's acting self-righteous. The devil will always try to come in and make family members, people who are close to you, people who are dear to you, come and try to get you off and... You're praying for them, you know, asking God, you know, come in, touch their heart, allow them to find Him, allow them to feel His love, feel His grace, feel His presence in their life. And with some family members, they fight that. Oh, they fight it, they fight it, they fight it, they fight it. But God, but God, but God. So guys... You honestly, honestly, keep them in your prayers. Keep them in your heart. Love them. Love thy enemies. Love thy enemies. Even if it's hard. Even if, uh, trust me, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Even if it's hard, you must love your enemies. Because they may not see that type of love anywhere else. And sooner or later with you doing what God tells you to do. Let me see that. You doing what God tells you to do. It'll open a door for them to be able to seek his love one day. It's like you're chipping at a rock. You're chipping, you're chipping at a rock that you know you would like mold into like a statue or you would mold into like an emerald. You're chip you're slowly chipping at that rock, like God is telling you to. You're slowly chipping at it. And sooner or later, while you're just chipping away, it's gonna come that one day to where you're gonna hit that one soft spot. To where once you hit it. It's going to crack open, and in the inside is going to be this beautiful, beautiful emerald, this beautiful, beautiful vessel. And that'll be the person who they're basically, basically meant to be. So do not give up on your family. Do not give up on your friends, because whenever God sees fit for them to come back into your life the right way, that was a little bright in my eyes, the right way, it'll happen. It don't happen just like that. So guys, I'm enjoying this. I'm loving this. Going to help back in and let's see what else they gotta say. One thing you gonna do is make a way. Everybody
that you uh, one six six. <laughs> I love that. That you hear me when I come to you in tears and share the pain with you. I face throughout the years. This I pray. I ask you to kill me. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. It truly is. It speaks volumes on the amount of love, on the amount of grace that has traveled, the amount of lives that have existed in the world, all the pains and all the struggle. We're literally all the same. We all just need a message to be able to help push us through different things that we go through. I forgot I never stopped it. I was going to go over that Facebook mark, but it literally helps you to be able to realize the true purpose that God has over everybody's lives, you know? Some people go through certain things to where, you know, the struggles that they've gone through can be used to help somebody else who's going through that exact same struggle. The can't seem to find a way out of the storm. God is amazing. He truly is. He truly, truly is. Let's hop back in. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. This I pray, Rip Productions presents. Uh, uh, rated prayer, I love that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I seen a scripture, I'm gonna read that again. Psalm 17 and six. I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. I love that. I love that. I love that. That's a wonderful message. This here was a wonderful song. I'm gonna let it finish off. Uh, uh, uh. Well, guys, that there was. <laughs> well, guys, that there was. Nick gracious is this I pray guys I truly enjoyed it once again thank you the beautiful Angelica for requesting this I truly enjoyed it and if you guys would like to see me react to any more of his music in the future comment down below or comment any other any other um, artists and I'll be sure to go on ahead and check them out for you as well with that do we gotta say live in your scene live your best life let no one think you can or cannot do because you can do anything that you put your mind to and with that being said, don't forget to say like, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And without further ado, don't forget to stay safe, stay sound, stay blessed, and love you guys. Wrap out! But wait, there's more. Don't forget to click the notification bell. Be aware of whenever I do post videos. I post videos, if not, every other day or every other week, whenever I have time. Because I am in school, I do do film, and I do, I do a lot right now. I do a lot. I do a lot. But we're getting it, and we're doing good. So, love y'all. Don't be living the scene without further ado, and wrath out!